welcome back to this channel. My name is Miss K Chris and I do all videos about planetary tips, beauty and travel vlogs. But right now I am pregnant. So today I'm going to give you a pregnancy haul or what I bought when I found out that I was pregnant and the things that has been being able to help me out in my first on my first and second trimester of pregnancy. So if you are pregnant and you're interested in this kind of videos, welcome to this Buntes haul and let's get on right into it! that I was pregnant while we were in Germany we were on our vacation there and that actually made like 50% of the decision why I wanted to quit my job because I really want to be there for the baby I never had a mother so I always thought to myself if I become a mother I'm gonna be there hundred percent and that's what I did so anyways let's get on the things that I bought uh, the moment that I found out that I was pregnant See, so I know I had to get a vitamins, a prenatal vitamins or something like that or pregnancy vitamins and it's kind of hard to find it there but I found this. This is a medicine, this is a folic acid medicine. It's a 400 milligram folic acid with vitamin D3 and B12 and I don't know what John is but this is in German so uh, John's dad can can is a doctor so he actually bought this with me when we bought it on the pharmacy or the boutique so it is something that you drink once a day it's folic acid it's really good for the baby the developing fetus and yeah uh, I bought this one it's the very first thing that I bought and then um, I started having these pimples and breakouts all over the place I guess that's just part of the pregnancy and I'm so afraid to use medicines that will affect the baby so I researched online on what to use on your pimples when you're pregnant and I learned that I can use a tea tree cream uh, because it's organic and it's natural I can use it to dry out my pimples so I've been using this ever since this is Dadosens, but this is actually, it's written in Germany, but it's it just means tea tree cream. So you can use any tea tree oil, a basic one, but I, I didn't find that when I was there, but this is the one that I found and uh, it has been effective, but my pimples haven't subsided. Like It's like it will heal one pimple and another pimple will come out. I guess that's just part of the hormones. So this is what I use. And another problem that I had so bad when I was in the first trimester is I had this um, morning sickness and I tried everything <laughs> that worked with me so what happens with me is that I gotta have familiar food so when, on the last uh, leg of our journey in Germany uh, John has been cooking me sinigang has been cooking me foods that is familiar to me because the other foods, I just can't tolerate them. And on top of that, <laughs> they bought me Sky Flakes <laughs> crackers because this actually helps out with the morning sickness. Um, I guess uh, I did a lot of research about morning sickness as well. It happens a lot when you're hungry or you didn't feed yourself well. So every two hours, I kind of like will eat this with a tea or with something hot, hot cocoa and it really calms my tummy and it really calms the nausea and the morning sickness in general so I have another one <laughs> in different variants but I just really like the brand Skyflake so I really made it difficult for John and John's family I only eat the ones that I'm familiar with so they have to go to the Filipino store to find these Skyflakes okay so aside from that I also have learned from being in the Middle East for some time that dates are very good for you so I bought some dates while I was there so these dates are actually a food that people in the Middle East eat when they are crossing the desert they can survive on this for days and this is actually very healthy for you and the baby it is actually natural sugar it's a very sweet Thing. and um, it is actually helpful for you if you put it 
on the like on the smoothies and things like that it is a natural sweetener so if you are if you are pregnant you need to eat lots of dates because you need a lot to have a lot of sugar and sometimes if you're craving for sugar instead of going for an ice cream go for dates so I really like these dates that we had and um, the number one problem that I had was uh, yeah like the the nausea, the morning sickness, in Tagalog pag susoka, nahihilo. It, it's it's like every time I finish eating, I would be sick. <laughs> but during eating, I like to eat. So I eat a lot and then afterwards I'm like really sick and I wanna throw up. So what really helped me a lot is the ginger candies. So John bought a lot of ginger candies and I guess I finished like three packs of this. So whenever I feel queasy or nahihilo, masusuka or not feeling well in general, I would snack on this. I will snack on this little candies right here. It's ginger flavored and it's Sometimes it's mixed with orange or lemon and it's really good. So this really helped me a lot. And um, more on the food. So John's uh, sister loves tea, so do I. So she recommended uh, different types of tea for me. Tea that doesn't have caffeine. And so she handpicked every tea that I could bring and she brought it back for me. She she pinadala niya sa amin. She, she actually have it packed for us, so I have lots and lots of tea. So some of this tea are um, classic chai, just to make sure that the tea doesn't have caffeine, because caffeine is not good for you when you're pregnant. So I have this classic chai. Um, this one snooze. This is for uh, chamomile tea, for you to help you to sleep. And um, organic red bush tea, everything organic and everything na walang caffeine. Because usually in the Philippines, if we talk about tea, we talk about black tea, the yellow label, and that has the most caffeine in all kinds of teas. So she brought me back with a lot of teas. And thank you, Janice, if you're watching this video, thank you, Janice, for the tea that you have given me. It helped me a lot during the pregnancy. Whenever I'm feeling too full or or too, I don't know, generally sick. So I would sometimes drink tea and eat ice flakes and have some ginger candy. So that's my formula to combat morning sickness. So yeah, uh, my favorite is the peppermint tea. It's gone now because every time I would feel sick after eating, that really helps with the bloating, the digestion and things like that. It doesn't have caffeine. So yeah, I'm so into peppermint tea. <laughs> okay, so those are the things, the foods that helped me out during the first trimester and um, the morning sickness. And I'm gonna move on to the things that I got as a gift from John's family. So they are so sweet. When we were going back to the Philippines, they, they gave us things that they know that it's hard to find or expensive here in the Philippines. So John's dad was an angel and he gave us this baby monitor. This is called Angel Care. So this baby monitor, um, it has something that you put on the bed. It monitors the breathing of the baby so you would know that the baby is breathing. Because sometimes when the baby is sleeping, they just stop breathing. It's called apnea or something like that. And also there is this monitor that monitors the sound and everything else i guess and i'm not really techie but yeah this is something really good and really nice and we can find the same thing here in the philippines we haven't opened it yet but yeah it is we are so grateful for this thank you daddy joe if you are watching thank you for this gift so this is actually 160 euros so let's just translate that how much it is in peso it's a really expensive one so I'm hoping that I could use this with the, this baby and more other babies that are coming. <laughs> so this is a gift from John's dad. And another gift from Janice is this um, baby carrier. This is a baby carrier cloth. I'm gonna insert a clip right here. She is demonstrating to me how to use it. But yeah, I really like this cloth. And I really think that uh, I like the way it snuggles me and the baby. So. Yeah, I can't wait to use this when the baby is out. So this baby carrier she gave to us. Again, thank you, Janice. And also another baby carrier. 
she gave us is this baby carrier. Oh, wait lang. <laughs> this one, I really love the color. <laughs> we have the same color um, choices, Janice and me. So I really like that it's neutral and it's nude. So this one is Ergo Baby. It's a baby carrier as well. Uh, it has this little thingy here na lalagyan ng baby inside and then this one you have to put inside this one okay we had a demonstration session while we were there but this one is like it has like belts and stuff this is different from the cloth one but this one i guess is more heavy duty so you wrap this around you and then you put the baby inside like so <laughs> and then this one for your shoulder so whenever we are going to be traveling we will be using this we're going to carry baby with us so yeah so these aren't just gifts we didn't buy this yet because um, of course i guess we are just all very excited when the baby comes out so and also we are going back to the philippines so they gave us this before we left and again, thank you. <laughs> and yes, guys, I also bought something for the tummy. Um, I started putting uh, oils and creams on the tummy as soon as I know I was pregnant because I know that I don't want to have stretch marks. So this is what I use. Um, the first thing I use is the tummy butter by Palmer's and um, it's really nice. It's really good smelling and then i realized later on that this is what you use after pregnancy <laughs> so i switched back to my original plan which is bio oil bio oil is actually one of the holy grail products that is out there it is used by flight attendants actually for stretch marks and scars acne scars and they use this as a moisturizer that's why i've been familiar with this before Bio oil is something that I have hoarded ever since because during winter times I would use it as a moisturizer at night and it really plumps my skin back because it's really dry so yeah uh, I got this the cheapest one you can buy this from India so whenever you, uh, we are in India I, I bought lots of bio oil and yeah I stocked on it I didn't buy it in the Philippines the moment I got here because uh, my stuff from the Middle East are still gonna get shipped right back here but then it's taking a long time so i finally bought one and i'm so shocked how expensive it is here in the philippines this is actually 4.99 at watson's for a small bottle but yeah i i just bought one because i i really felt that my skin is stretching out so this really helps me feel like i'm prepping my skin for all the work that it's going to go through right? so yeah i just love bio oil i use it twice a day in the morning and at night so yeah that's uh what i use for the stretch marks and let's pray to god cross fingers na hindi ako magkaroon ng maraming maraming stretch marks so people say that it really is not something that you could decide on you really can prepare for they said that it's from the genes so if your mother had stretch marks probably you're gonna have a stretch mark too so yeah i don't know my mother died so i can't ask her right now what happened to her so but anyways um yeah just try to be as prepared as you can <laughs> as much as you can so i also put it not just on the belly but on the parts that i know are gonna get bigger like my arms or your boobs or your thighs or your butt so one of my friends is actually pregnant not right now she's using a Palmer's lotion for stretch marks and she's using it everywhere <laughs> and yeah it's funny I guess I'm gonna do the same thing now now that I heard about that 